Hey, welcome back to Python MC. I'm your Python MC coach, Richard Ashe. And in this section, we're going to get into while loops. Um, so we're going to start off this program by just initializing a variable called answer. So we're just going to create a variable called answer, and we're going to give it the value of no uh, in quotation marks. And then we're going to start a while loop. We're going to say while answer not in yes with a capital Y or yes with a lowercase y. And then we're going to hit a colon, and that will start our while loop. The next block of code indented four spaces. This is the bit that's going to repeat. So line four is going to repeat again and again and again until answer equals yes. So as long as it's not either a yes with a capital Y or yes with a lowercase y, it's going to ask this question, are we there yet, there yet? using the input function in, in Python. So input captures user uh, input. It captures, it's like a cursor on the screen that will get input from the user. It will allow the user, the user to type in an answer and then it's going to check what the answer is. So the first time it loops around it's going to ask are we there yet? We're going to type in no. Then it's going to ask us again. We're going to say still no. It's going to ask us again. We're going to say maybe but it's not going to stop until it gets a yes. And finally we type in yes and then it goes down to line six and says print. It prints out the statement yay we're, we are there. So you'll see it just the, what's going to happen is it's going to loop around again and again between line three and line four until it finally gets the answer it's expecting, which is a yes. And, it's, and we'll show you actually what this looks like with Python Visualizer. So I'm going to go out to Python Visualizer, which is a tool, free online tool, to allow us to see what's actually happening in memory. I'm going to paste my code in here, and then we're just going to go ahead and step through it line by line. Python executes from top to bottom. The first thing it does is it assigns the value no to the variable answer. And then the green line is the line that has just executed on line three, and the line four is what, what we're about to execute. So we've just checked to see whether answer is equal to yes. And now, since it doesn't, we're going to ask the question, are we there yet? As you can see at the bottom, I submit and I say no, and answer still kills no. This is what appears on, what it looks like on the screen. I'm going to step through the code again, and line four is going to go again, which is to ask the question, are we there yet? I'm going to put in still no, and then it's going to go back up to line three, because the answer you can see on the right is still no. So on line three it says, well, answer not in yes. Okay, well, still no is not a yes. So I'm going to go back down to line four again. You're going to see it goes from line three back down to line four when I hit the forward button. There it goes. And now it's asking the question again. And each time it's assigning the value that the user types in to the variable answer. So we're going to type in maybe. Okay, and now answer equals maybe. And then so it's just, you can see line four is just executed. It's now it's going to execute line three where it's testing or checking to see whether answer is equal to yes. And it doesn't, so again, ask the question one more time and using the input function, and finally we get a yes, okay? And so now on line three, it checks to see is answer in yes? Well, it is, and if it is, it's gonna go down to line six. If it's not, it's gonna go back to line four and repeat again. But now it finally <laughs> equals yes, so we can print, yay, we are there. So that's how it works with while loops. It's gonna repeat again and again until it gets the answer it's expecting. So what we want to do is get into it, have fun, We'll see you again on Python MC.